For BridgewaterEagles.com, I'm Zach State, and I'm sitting here with someone you may know as junior track athlete Mark Robertson, but you also may know him as the most recent Bridgewater Price is Right contestant <laughs> and Price is Right winner. First of all, Mark, how are you feeling right now? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> so talk about how, what happened that day. You went to the L.A. trip. Talk about what happened. Um, well, we took a bunch of different interesting little tours and different things, you know, we got to see a bunch of different shows, not just The Price is Right, you know, we went to see Mom, you know, Last Man Standing, Tim Allen, he's great. Um, get, kind of rubs me off as an old fart, but he's a, he's a good guy. Um, so we went to different shows, and of course we did go to The Price is Right, and um, we stand in this long line for what seems like an eternity. You get your nice little sticker tag, you know, those yeah, famous yeah. sticker tags. Um, got your name on and everything, it's all official. Um, and eventually, you know, we get there and I'm excited, I'm ready to see the show, just like all the other shows. It was just another show to me. I wanted to be a part of it. You know, this thing's been going on for, it said 45 years, and I uh, feel like it's been longer. It, maybe it, it feels like it's been part of American culture for a long time. Um, I feel like maybe it was a different name at first or something, because mm -hmm. Bob Barker said he did it for 50 years, and then now 45, that doesn't make sense. Sure. But anyway, um, no, so I used to watch this show with my grandmother like every like every weekday when I was staying down with her and um, it just became a part of my life at that point. Yeah. So to be a part of this show and part of this show's history, you know, be it one day, you know, it's not like I own the show, I'm not like, right. you know, the well-known. Drew Carey probably doesn't even remember who I am. <laughs> but um, no, it just means a lot that, you know, something that meant so much to me and my grandmother, I got to be a part of. Yeah, that's really cool to talk about too, that, that, that family part of it. So when you go, and I've been to the Price Right as well on the you trip have? to LA. Uh -oh. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they take your phone, so you really don't have any communication with the outside Not world. So, so when you get your name called, first of all, what is going through your mind when you hear Mark Robertson? Well, <laughs> it's kind of hard because you go like Mark Robertson, come on down and you're straight. You're like, you almost want to go, wait, did he just call me? <laughs> um, you know, you get, you're all excited. Your heart starts pounding. I think my heart pounded more that day than it ever has on the track out there. Yeah. Um, you know, I was trying to just get through all these different people and this dude at the very end decided not to stand up. So, I mean, I trip over his knee. So, um, <laughs> fall into the middle of the aisle. So I made my national TV moment right if there. nothing else, I think everybody remembers you for the guy that <laughs> fell trying to get up to the podium on The Price is Right. Well, it's on YouTube now. Hey, you know what? Um, they can't say anything about it. You were on The Price is Right. <laughs> but um, the whole episode's on YouTube now. Yeah. Um, but um, anyway, I get up there and I'm jumping, having a good time. Cause I, you know, I'm on camera now. Mm -hmm. I, gotta, I gotta be excited. I gotta be doing what they want. You know, what the audience wants to see, what the people at home want to see, mm -hmm. what the producers and Drew Carey even wants to see. Yeah. They want to see people go crazy. Drew Carey is probably like another exhausting day at work. But at the same time, he's, he, he likes what he do, you could tell. Yeah. Um, so they want to see you go excited, get excited. And he was a really nice guy from what I remember hosting the show. He, he was a really nice guy. Um, yeah, I can't complain about him. He's all congratulatory. Well, he's I'm like, sure you on. can't complain about him. <laughs> no, I can't complain about him. Um, but, uh, you know, be it our small interactions and stuff, you know, I'm not trying to focus on him. I, I didn't even get to talk to him that much. You know, you would think a part of the experience is meeting Drew Carey. That would be, a, you know, one of the priorities. I'd be like, awesome, I want to talk to this dude as much as I can. But I think I had so much other things going through my mind that if I even tried to recall one thing I said to Drew Carey, besides thank you, yeah. is I, I couldn't. Um, yeah. So for every, for anybody that hasn't watched this show or hasn't been able to see this episode of The Price is Right, yeah. uh, if, to the best of your memory, what, what are, actually, I'm, I'm sure you remembered all this, what did you <laughs> win? Um, <laughs> you want me to start biggest? <laughs> Dude, just list off what you won. Um, I started off with an elliptical and then um, made it on, got a 65 inch flat screen smart TV, 4K resolution, um, a $900. <laughs> yeah. um, Go straight to taxes. Oh well, but uh, <laughs> a two-door refrigerator with a, like a pull-out freezer on the bottom with like a Beretta filter on the side. Oh, I can't wait for that. I drink water <laughs> out of that stuff all the time. My grandmother's got one of those frigid refrigerators. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm gonna love that. Um, water won't have to pay for itself no more. It'll just mm -hmm. I'll just go to the fridge. Sure. Um, I want a car, a Kia Forte LX. And this is moving into the actual showcase, correct? Um, yes. So in the showcase, I did win the car. I won a grand uh, Williams Symphony Grand Digital Piano. 
uh, with I think over 100 different buttons and Bluetooth connectivity and yeah. stuff. And then uh, finally, I want a trip to New Orleans for two in a grand hotel and stuff for six so, nights. So, what, first of all, when do you go on that trip? Do you know? I have three choices of dates. Okay. Yeah, I just cannot. Sad thing is, is there's a couple blackout dates that I cannot choose. I can't choose Mardi Gras, and I can't choose New Year's. Okay. So just you know. It means because the expense would be a little yeah, bit higher. Yeah, which makes sense because they're paying for it and they, yeah. they probably have a set uh, price. So when the day comes that you can finally talk about it, what, what's the experience like of people around you? Is everybody kind of flogging you with questions? Are you just trying to spread as much information as you can? What, what's it like when you can finally talk about you it? You know, I thought at first it was going to be more of, I was going to get swarmed. Mm -hmm. um, I did a little bit to an extent. For the people that did watch maybe every day, you know, athletic department, they all saw it, you know. Yeah. They, I heard they all had some laughs. And I, I was here, everybody <laughs> was going nuts. <laughs> um, and uh, people on campus, some, you know, sparse people knew about it. Yeah. Um, and they were coming like, oh, holy crap, Mark, you just won the prizes, right? Like, oh my, you want a card? Kind of crazy, going crazy for me. And then I think, maybe the noise and the uh, atmosphere around Bridgewater kind of felt like a winning atmosphere in Bridgewater. You know, Pete, it started to catch wind and you know, with the Twitter post, that obviously helped. Sure. I mean, people they, thought my name was Jeremy. They got your name wrong. <laughs> but um, maybe we shouldn't say that. But anyway, um, so no, y'all did a great job, Price is Right, if you see what I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so I think word started to spread, and um, then I got more questions coming in. Mm -hmm. I mean, people coming up asking to me, you know, what was it like? And I think the most common thing that people were talking to me about is suggestions of what to do with my prizes. <laughs> I'm sure that's more up to you than anybody else. <laughs> it is up to me, um, and I'll get into that a little bit later. So but, when do the prizes get here? Um, within the next month and a half, two months. Okay. Um, I haven't received any emails quite yet, but then again, we just paid the state tax, that's so required, so. So has it sunk in that you were on the prices right <laughs> that you won, or is it still something that you're like, holy crap, I can't believe I went through this? I had to watch a couple, I've, I've watched the episode a couple dozen times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've got it on DVR. <laughs> um, yeah, I got it on YouTube forever. Oh, for sure. But um, in case something happens to that, but um, yeah, it's sunk in a little bit. You know, I still look back on the experience and I'm like, oh my, this really did happen. And I think it didn't happen right away. You know, yeah. I, I went about the LA trip and I tried to enjoy the rest of my trip without freaking out and going nuts. Um, Cause I had just gotten, you know, biggest news of my life basically. Yeah. You know, I'd won and this stuff was gonna be happening within the next couple months. And, you know, at that point the show hadn't aired, you know, maybe the show didn't air, you know, I had questions and stuff, mm -hmm. but I had to kind of go unanswered for a while, but um, yeah, it didn't really, I kind of brushed it aside a little bit. I put it aside, enjoyed the rest of my trip, enjoyed coming back to Bridgewater, getting schoolwork done, getting mm -hmm. stuff I need to be done. And I think once it aired on TV, one, I got just as excited as I was on the show yeah. when it aired on TV. You, you, you would think the second time would mean you would get less excited. No. No, you're still on natural <laughs> no, television. No, no. Um, so, you know, after about the third or fourth time, it started, I started to hit me a little bit. And I was like, you know, this actually happened. Wow. You know, it put a big smile on my face. I'll be, you know, known around here and I'll know back at home for the person that did win the prices right during his college. And I can't thank Bridgewater enough for giving me the opportunity. Strano, Eric, some great professors, absolutely. Couldn't ask for better. Yeah, it's more proof that if you go, if you come here to Bridgewater, you're going to get an opportunity to do something really cool. Future freshman. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> well, Mark, again, congratulations. Absolutely. Thanks for sitting down and joining us yeah, for this interview. For BridgewaterEagles.com, this is Zach Staten.